You know, I think the 2022 World Cup is gonna fail here in America. So let's talk about it. Would you be my? Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Drew here, back with yet another video for all you American soccer fans out there. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about why I think the 2022 World Cup in Qatar will fail here in America in terms of ratings. Uh, as you guys know, this past World Cup, 2018 World Cup in Russia, it didn't do so good on ratings. You know, Fox finally got the rights for it. They paid billions of dollars from ESPN to, you know, take it away from ESPN and host it themselves, but the ratings were terrible. Not, I guess not terrible, but you know what? They weren't as good as they thought they were going to be. But I think that this 2022 World Cup is going to be worse. I guess I'll start off by stating my thoughts on Qatar hosting the World Cup. Uh, in, in a nutshell, I think they shouldn't be hosting it at all. After, you know, being exposed for that, you know, that bid being rigged and all that controversy going on behind them and Seth Blatter and all that shit. I think they should have given it to another country to host after that was, they were found out. You know, a country like, you know, like us. <laughs> or some other country. I know there was a couple of countries who were bidding to get that taken away from Qatar so they could host the World Cup. But, you know, what are you going to do? And another thought I don't like is that it's not going to be played in the summer. And that was made official a couple of days ago because it was uh, FIFA released that the 2022 World Cup in Qatar is going to be played during like the winter time. It's going to be played from November 21st to December 18th. So that those dates are crucial to my first point as to why I think this World Cup is going to fail. So let's just get to it. So a lot of you sports fans out there, not just soccer fans, but you know, mainly football fans, NFL fans, you guys will know, you'll see these dates, November and December, that whole big month, uh, you'll see those dates and like, you know what, that's like in the middle of the NFL season, it could be a crucial time in the season, who knows how it's going to play out for your team specifically, then now FIFA's going to try to play World Cup during the NFL season, and Fox is going to try to show that World Cup during NFL games, because, I mean, I guess the time zone's going to be different, but that's my second point, so let's not, get, let's not spoil it. Now a lot of Americans didn't watch this last World Cup, mainly because USA wasn't in it, but also because I just think maybe interest for soccer in America isn't as strong as it could be right now. Oh, that's a totally different topic for another video. <laughs> but if you're, you're going against America's number one sport, it's top dog, no other sport in this country is going to top NFL because this sport is insanely popular. It's a good sport to watch, I admit I watch sometimes. My Eagles are won the last Super Bowl, and I mean these these fans are crazy for their teams, and I really don't see a lot of American fans who are just like regular sports fans um, turning the TV off for NFL to go watch a World Cup. Who maybe has USA in it, and who maybe doesn't have USA because it's still obviously unconfirmed because we have to qualify and get through the hexagon and all that shit. And it's not a given. Everyone was everyone always said it's a given we're going to be in the World Cup, but look what happened this last World Cup. We got humiliated, humiliated, and we weren't in it. So I'm not gonna say yeah, it's a given we're gonna be in this World Cup because I really don't know. We could fuck up again. We could um, just not play well. Other teams could get better by that time. We don't know. So if USA is not in that World Cup and you're going against the NFL ratings, that's already two big hits you're gonna have on trying to get more views this time around. So my second big issue as to why things the World Cup is going to fail is the time zone again. Now, as you guys know, this last World Cup was held in Russia. Russia is about like six, seven hours ahead of Eastern USA. And I just checked Qatar, Doha, Qatar, which is, the, I think, the capital of Qatar, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But they're about seven hours ahead of uh, Eastern USA. Now, that's kind of like the same, obviously the same amount of time zone difference. Now, in 2014, the World Cup was held in Brazil, and Brazil was like, I think, an hour or something ahead of, of us. So it was easier to plan games that would work for, like, you know, South America, obviously, and for, most importantly, USA, because they wanted to get those views in, and it worked. They got millions of views. I think it was like 5 million views. Um, but now, this last World Cup only had, like, I think, 3 million or 2 million. I don't remember, but my last video covers it all, so you guys can go check that out. <laughs> um... So yeah, the, the time zone definitely is a big, big issue. It's going to be played, at, again, an inconvenient time. So a lot of people, Americans, are working in the daytime. They're going to be playing during the day. And you know, there's some NFL games who, ha who, who go on at, like, you know, Super Bowl Sunday. Not Super Bowl Sunday. Is that what it's called, Super Bowl Sunday? See, I'm not that big of an NFL fan. <gasps> Exposed. Whatever, you guys get it. Time zones are going to mess us up again. Uh, they play a game at like 6, six o'clock there in Qatar. It's going to be 9, no, <gasps> math, 7 o'clock 
here in USA. Where are you guys gonna be? Probably working, and that's gonna freaking suck again. All right, so my last two reasons are like kind of reaching the bottom of the barrel. I'm just like kind of like reaching, but um, I still think I still think they're really legitimate reasons, and I think they really are gonna affect this World Cup. Um, the first one being Fox again is gonna have the rights to air this World Cup. Uh, now, as many of you know, ESPN held a 2014 World Cup. They had the rights for that. It was just on cable. Everybody could watch it. But with Fox, you got to pay a subscription to watch it on Fox Sports 1 and Fox Sports 2. And sometimes some games are held on just regular Fox. I think the World Cup final this year and the semis, I mean, and the third place uh, playoff game, was they were both held just on Fox. I think it was just basic Fox channel, which was like, I think, cable, so everybody could watch it. But still, the majority of the games were held on Fox Sports, which is... Uh, a subscription based package so you gotta like add it to your direct tv add it to your sling add it to just you just gotta pay extra money just to watch these extra games and a lot of people who are already paying extra money like an nfl ticket to play i'm, too, I'm sorry to watch extra nfl games you guys think they're gonna want to pay another extra just to watch world cup games maybe not i mean i wouldn't uh, but obviously i'd pay world cup over nfl but that's a, whatever who cares my final reason as to why I think this World Cup might fail here in America is that Messi and Ronaldo might not be in it. I should say, I say might not. My final reason as to why I think this World Cup might fail here in America is Messi and Ronaldo will not be in it. Well, I should say might not be in it because we don't know how they're going to be, be in four years. But still, I think it's a big possibility that they will not be playing this 2022 World Cup and that scares me because... A lot of the marketing that, went, marketing that went into World Cups 2014, 2018 was Messi and Ronaldo were the big ones. They had them in commercials, they had them on posters, they had them on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, any kind of little poster they could put up anywhere. They had Messi and Ronaldo when everybody got the chance because they know people love these two. These two are the best players to ever play this sport ever. I think, the, in my opinion, they're the top two best players ever. And Messi, obviously, first, he's the king, and then Ronaldo after, but... No one else compares to either of them, and no one else can compare to the things they've won as individuals, and you know maybe not um, as much as uh, as a country for their country. But that's something I want to cover in my next video. It's going to come out soon, so I promise you guys. It's my. It's going to be whether or not Ronaldo, Messi actually need a World Cup to cement their legacy in soccer. But you guys will see that later this week. Um, so yeah, basically, I just I don't think like I'm thinking like who are they going to po put on posters and commercials and ads and all this stuff. If they don't have Messi and Ronaldo, obviously Neymar will still be around. Who knows how big Mbappe will be? I'm guessing he'll be really big, but um, will he, will four years be enough to overtake that crown for Messi and Ronaldo as like the top big advertisement for, like soccer players? Um, I don't I don't know. I don't think so because they'll still be around for maybe two two years before that. Or I don't. You can't really like, be, really be sure. Who knows if Messi's gonna want to play again after that shit. Argentina put it uh, shit Argentina put in, in, the, in that World Cup and who knows how much Ronaldo Ronaldo can keep going at the level he's at um, but that's but that's it guys <laughs> that's all my reasons as to why I think the 2022 World Cup could fail here in America in terms of views I should say in terms of views um, now now it's my turn to ask you guys would you would you guys agree with my list do you guys think these are legitimate reasons and do you guys have um, things like uh, things of your own that you guys think will affect this World Cup here in America um, and, and any NFL fans out there, would you guys watch NFL over the World Cup? Let me know your thoughts down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. And hey, by the way, if you guys want to see soccer grow in this country, you want to see it get the respect it deserves, then hit the subscribe button and be part of change. I'll see you next time.